story where a McDonald's cheeseburger was purchased at a McDonald's in Logan, Utah back in 1999. And then the person who bought it, he stuck it in his pocket and forgot about it until 2013 when he reached into his pocket and thought, hmm, what's this? A McDonald's hamburger? When did I buy it? Oh, yeah, that was that burger I lost in 1999. Well, anyway, he kept it for another six years, and now it is 20 years old, this McDonald's hamburger. And he says it still looks the same as the day he bought it. So I want to go to the phones and check in with you on your stories of old food, whether it was intentionally old food, or maybe it's um, some food that was accidentally made old. Let's go to CJ in Ohio. All right, what's your story of old food? So, um, now I'm being homeschooled, and I recently, I don't know, recently, um, a couple months ago, I've been getting into baking. I've been baking a lot of things. Yeah. And on the day that I found this old food was when I was making a brownie bomb cheesecake. So imagine a cheesecake, but all the crust is removed with brownie. <gasps> so um, I yeah. was looking and turning out pretty good, and I um, decided to top it off with something good. Like on the uh, example picture of what I had to make, it, there's chocolate syrup over it, so I decided to just, you know, try and go for that. Yeah. And um, we found some chocolate syrup in the back of our pantry, but I was actually a little bit concerned because I remember that chocolate syrup being back there. I, I don't remember n- n- how old I was, but it was back there for a pretty long time. You, in other and words, I didn't, want, I didn't want rotten food to cover in my cheesecake. That just ruin it. I spent yeah. a lot of time on it. So I um, tried to um, pour a bit on my finger, see what it looked like, tasted like. But nothing came out and it was stuck in. So then I took the whole cap off. And, and um, so what would you picture in, a, in the chocolate syrup? Not really old chocolate syrup, just regular, regular cho- everyday chocolate syrup. Oh, it's like a nice, thick, rich brown colored, almost like a deep brown, like a black almost uh, thick syrup. Yeah, so... When I uncapped it and took a look in there, it no no there was no brown. It was just white. It and was it, white. like it was white lumpy. I could even say it looked like mashed potatoes. What? Like, and, what? <laughs> what? So I, I did so not glad know that you were going there. I did not there. put that on my cheesecake. Wait, you did not put it on your cheesecake. Yeah, I, I so, did not put it on there. This is chocolate syrup that you don't remember not being in your life. Like, as far as you can remember, this chocolate syrup was in the back of the pantry. And so you knew it was going to be old, but you didn't know that when you... Oh, what did you do when you squeezed it out to test it? To find well, like, like, I, I tried potatoes. squeezing it, and it whacked it a couple times on the top, but nothing came out. And yeah. that's why I decided to look into it. Wow! So, my mom, so, and I was concerned that I didn't have an expiration date. My mom, like, my mom's all, oh, I'm pretty sure it's like, it's kind of like honey. It doesn't have an expiration <laughs> oh, date. Mom. It can go on for years. <laughs> Once I opened it, boy, was she wrong. <laughs> You know what? This is a science exper. This is a science experiment here. Like, could you? More like w- baking gone wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, baking itself is a science experiment, but I would wonder, like, what is the chemical reaction taking place that would take deep brown chocolate syrup and cause it to look like lumpy mashed potatoes? Like, it was white? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I Wow, I did not see that coming. I bet you didn't either. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, I was- so- did that I was ruin? so yeah. surprised when I saw that in there. <laughs> so what did you end up putting on your, your cheesecake? N- n- nothing. Just nothing. regular brownie bomb cheesecake. Got... It still tasted good. Yeah. I think but you didn't need anything else. a lot better than over-expired chocolate <laughs> syrup. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you this question. Would you rather put actual mashed potatoes on your cheesecake or expired chocolate syrup that looked like mashed potatoes, <laughs> but was still chocolate syrup. Oh, uh, that's a good question. 
I feel like I go with the mashed potatoes because mashed potatoes already taste good. Yeah, that's true. Tori, what about you? Yeah, I'm going with mashed potatoes too. A little Same sweet, here. a little savory, delicious. Same here. That is the right answer, people. Glad we had this talk. Thank you so much for calling, CJ. You sound like an amazing kid and an amazing baker. And you've now made us hungry. Everything else made me lose my appetite. And this story, if I could just focus on the cake and not the syrup, I'm, you've made me hungry. <laughs>